Right now, Des Moines protesters have new demands for the city. This comes after some of their previous demands, like lifting the countywide curfew, were met this week. KCCI's Bo Bowman spoke to one organizer who explained why certain demands have been made. Stacy, the protesters want to be able to meet with Des Moines police and negotiate some of the terms on their demand list. A new list of demands was made public on social media late Thursday evening by Black Lives Matter protesters. At the top of the list, a plea for justice for Darquan Jones, a black man who was assaulted and called racial slurs in May on Des Moines' south side. They are also asking for a more thorough investigation into the death of Abdi Sharif, a former Des Moines Roosevelt student who went missing in January and was later found dead in the Des Moines River. The third demand from protest organizers is the arrest of two Des Moines police officers who dragged protesters out of their apartment building. And they want police to return confiscated property back to protesters, as well as an apology from Des Moines Police Chief Dana Winger for what they call violent and aggressive behavior from the Des Moines Police Department over the past week. We the people, we've spoke out. You guys see us out here in numbers. We have spoke out and we will continue to speak out. We will continue to march, continue to be unified until we see change. And that will be every day. And the people are ready to march every day until we see change. I reached out to the Des Moines Police Department for comment, but they declined to answer. In Des Moines, Bo Bowman, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's news leader.